Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're trying out the, uh, the the Screencastify app today for this recording. It's exciting times, really exciting times also because we're finally starting with coding and robotics, which is uh, personally the part of the, the year that I've been looking forward to the most. I love coding and I love playing with the robots. So this is going to be great uh, times today. This video is going to be kind of the basic setup video, just how to open up the files, deal with the program, uh, and get everything hooked up to the robot itself. Uh, we're going to open up Robot C Graphical right here for VEX Robotics. It's probably going to take just a sec. Here we go. Program is starting up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, a Project Lead the Way temple, uh, template. And this uh, took me a while earlier as kind of a challenge. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to File, Open. So you can see I got it open earlier. Let's see. And how do you do it? Open Sample Program. So we're going to go to File, Open Sample Program. You can rewind the video at any time. And now the problem is it brings you into a uh, into some place where you don't necessarily want to be. So I think you want to go to, uh, let's see. You want to go to Sample Programs right here. And it brings you into graphical, but we actually want to go into, I believe, VEX2. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go down to Project Leadway, PLTW. Hopefully it will work. Okay, good. And then you can see the PLTW template backup. Don't want to choose that one. We just want to choose PLTW template. There we go. Good. So we've opened the template. Now, if you missed that, feel free to pause the video and rewind just a little bit. Uh, okay, so now we're going to make sure that everything is set up properly to communicate with the robot. They make a variety of robots, and there's old ones that are run on different you know, types of things and all that. So we're just going to make sure everything's configured properly for our robot. So we're going to uh, go to Robot right here, that this menu, and we're going to choose... Uh, what is it? Sorry. We're going to... Verify that natural language PLTW and VEX 2.0 Cortex are both selected. Flex, oh, pla okay, we're going to go to platform type, and we're going to make sure that VEX 2.0 Cortex, good, and natural language PLTW are both selected. Okay, it's good. So let's choose that one, natural language PLTW. So let's check it again, platform type, VEX 2.0 and natural language PLTW are both selected. Perfect. Uh, so then we will go to robot again, and we'll check with the VEX Cortex communication mode. And it could be either set to VEXnet or USB or USB only. Uh, if we were to do a robot competition, which hopefully we can get going here one of these years, uh, we would choose that one. But while we're in class, either USB only or VEXnet or USB will work. Okay, so select robot and then okay. There we go. And then we're going to go right here to view. And we're going to go to select communication port right here. And we're going to make sure that automatic selection is our option that's selected. And once we verify that it is, we're going to click OK. Perfect. OK. Now we want to go to file, save as. And we're going to want to give it a specific name let's see i'm gonna say mr anderson's test file you should give it a specific name that includes the name of the program and the uh and your name as well so that we can find it later okay and now look at where it wants to save it it's saving this right here into the sample program thing so we don't want to save it in that file. Let's go up to the quick access and let's make sure to save it in the documents folder right here. So uh, all of the IED students are saving their stuff in the inventor folder. We're probably clear to just save stuff in the documents folder. We could also probably set up a folder at some point and put it all in there. Anyways, let's just make sure to save this file in the documents folder and to give it a specific name that includes our name as well. All right, there we go. So uh, we saved it in there. Did it work? Say, OK, there we go. We can see we got Mr. Anderson's test file, that RBG. That's the file extension. And we're going to click OK. OK, so then you're going to fill in this project title. This could be the uh, title, the test bed 
team members, you put your name, your group members, the date, and the section number. I guess that would be period number. And the task description and pseudocode if you have that, which you're just going to leave that blank for now. So just fill out the information section of it right here. So this part right here in green, uh, that's between this, the uh, the slash and the star, that's not going to be interpreted by the robot. That's just you know a thing where you can put things in there. If you want to add comments to your code, which we're going to be requiring soon enough, um, you put two slashes, and then you can you know you can t say what that line of code is intended to do. All right, so. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up the communication with the robot, which I know we already did a little bit. But now we're going to be specifically telling the robot what is connected to what. Uh, so we're going to go to robot again, and we're going to click on motors and sensors setup. And then here, what you're going to do is you're going to type in the things that are in there. For instance, in this one is in port one, I'm going to put the VEX flashlight and then I'm just going to name it. Okay. And then, you know what? I'm not going to use a capital. I don't think, uh, oops, there we go. So no capital port two is a uh, right motor. And then on for the motor, we will choose the VEX 269 motor. Okay, and then port three will be the left motor, and then we will choose VEX 269 motor again. And then to port nine is going to be the servo, not the Z servo, the servo, and I should skip that capital, servo motor, and we will choose, uh, I believe, three wire servo for this one right here. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so then now, of course, you want to verify that your flashlight is actually signed in or is actually plugged into port one, your right motor is plugged into port two, and your left motor is plugged into port three, etc, cetera, etc cetera, on your VEX cortex. Otherwise, you're going to have some issues. Okay, so we'll click apply and then we'll click OK. And there we go. That's about it. Actually, let's see now oh, we're going to set up so you can see that when we did that this code popped up right here pragma config motor one port one flashlight so it basically just set up this code right here that communicates with the robot for us now we're going to do a similar thing here where we will do a motor and sensor setup again and this time we're going to click on the analog sensors right here we're going to do basically the same thing except this one we're going to put in line follower and then from the sensor type we'll choose line follower and then in port two we'll put the potentiometer potential you spell potentiometer o meter and then in the sensor list potentiometer and then in right here the light sensor sensor there we go and we will put light sensor there we go and we'll apply that okay it and i believe that is about it oh you know what uh we actually put in some other stuff too with the digital sensors one more thing here hope we don't run out of time on the video uh let's see motors and sensors set up right here in the digital sensor we'll put the limit switch limit switch then the bump switch and then the quad and then in dig 5 we'll put the sonar and in dig 12 we'll put the green or whatever color LED you have. And then you can just go ahead and... Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted to happen. Sorry, guys. Motors and sensors set up. We'll put in the uh, limit switch. All right. It's telling me I'm running out of time. <laughs> Gotta say, Screencastify, not all that thrilled with that. Gonna have to end the video here. No big deal. Um, you guys can just figure out how to enter in these switches right here. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.